provide a health status update, so Christian Watson. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm feeling better. I've been feeling better you know, each and every day. Uh, so, I mean, kind of just been progressing along since uh, since it happened, and it's obviously been progressing a lot quicker than, than uh, I think everybody thought it was. But, I mean, I'm going to keep on pushing it every single day if I feel like I can, you know, take another step, and, it, and it's, you know, been like that. So, uh, I mean, my goal every week is to play. Uh, you know, obviously last week was, you know, out of the question uh, just in terms of being able to go out there and, and do anything that would have been remotely my game. Uh, but, I mean, it's another week, and I'm trying to get out there uh, and play. Chris, you describe this week is out of the question? Uh, I mean, that's not how I describe it, not until, you know, after the game. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, my goal is to, is to play this week. Christian, what were your initial thoughts when you're on the field and you feel the pain? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, I was definitely, I was definitely fearing the worst. It was uh, an awkward position for me to be in, and you know, I felt, you know, my, you know, leg going the, the wrong way. Uh, so I mean, you know, I've seen you know stuff like that happen before, and it's been you know pretty significant injuries. So, uh, and obviously, you know, the pain alongside it, it was definitely uh, scary in the moment. Uh, but I mean, I was just you know hoping and praying for the best, and. Uh, you know, it definitely dodged a bullet. Obviously, it's you know, it's still something. So, uh, you know, working through that, but it definitely dodged a bullet with how how bad it could have been. When did you find out that you, you kind of dodged the, the worst case scenario? Um, I mean, really, just kind of, you know, like two days after when I was, well, I mean, I mean, right away when I saw when I, uh, you know, heard nothing was broken. Uh, I mean, that was you know the first you no know, kind of bullet, and then. Uh, I mean, just, you know, two, three days later, I was, you know, feeling significantly, you know, better already. Uh, you know, I was able to walk out, out of the boot and everything. So, uh, you know, I think it was just the progress that I was making so quickly was, uh, you know, kind of gave me that hope. Christian, has Romeo or does he need to have conversation or does he need to do anything to earn, I don't want to say respect, but respect back after what happened last week among his teammates? Um, I mean, I think that we all, you know, respect the way that Rome goes about his business. Uh, in the building, uh, and I, you know, I think we have a tight knit family. Um, and I mean, everyone's going to have you know their own opinions on the situation, but I, at, at the end of the day, I think uh, you know two days isn't going to you know ruin the you know three years of, of work and uh, commitment he's uh, you know put in for us. Um, so I mean, it, it'll definitely be you know a little weird right away, just because you know I mean it was a you know pretty significant situation you know for him, um, but I mean he's you know he's roamed us so. Uh, I mean, I, th I think it'll, you know, blow by pretty quick, and we'll all be, you know, right back to how we were. You know, Rome better than everybody probably came in with them. It, was this just, I mean, just knowing his personality, was this kind of out of left field, shocking for you that this even is happening in his situation? Uh, I mean, it's definitely surprising, but I mean, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a mentally taxing business. Uh, I mean, it's a lot going on. We all have our, um, you know, own individual goals. So, I mean, you really never will truly know what somebody's thinking and. Um, you know, I'll never want to, you know, talk down and on anyone's mental health. So, I mean, you know, if I'm, I don't really still know, you know, the exact you know, specifics of the situation. But, I mean, whenever someone's going through something, uh, you know, they, you know, do things that, you know, you wouldn't really expect from them. So, I mean, it, like I said, it is what it is. So, um, you know, it's behind us now. We just move on. You've been through so much with Romeo the past couple of years. What was Thursday like for you and last, really last week as a whole just – not have them there and then kind of yourself? Uh, I mean, it was tough. Uh, I mean, one, uh, you know, at that point, we didn't really, um, you know, know for sure what was going on with him. So, I mean, it was definitely, you know, concerning for uh, just me personally, just, you know, knowing him as a, as a man and just, you know, knowing that he could possibly be going through, you know, whatever at, at this time because we didn't really know what was going on. But, uh, I mean, it's tough just because you know that, um, I mean, I always want the best for Rome, regardless of, of the situation, regardless of, you know, whether we're playing on the same team or, you know, playing on different teams in the, in the future. I'm always going to want the best for Rome. So, uh, I mean, just knowing that he's in that, you know, that position was definitely, uh, I mean, it's tough. In a general sense, how would you describe the scrutiny of being an NFL wide receiver? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of expectation. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, things and, and um I mean, there's a lot of things that people expect you to, to do and, and uh, you know, they expect you to be, you know, a certain type of player. And, um, I mean, there's guys on the other side of the ball that are getting paid a lot of money to, to, to play the game as well. So, you know, things don't always uh, go your way. So, I mean, it's, 
Uh, it's tough to live up to it sometimes, but I mean, we all have goals for ourselves as well that we want to live up to, and I'm sure they exceed what everybody else is uh, even thinking of us. So, I mean, I think the, I mean, for me personally, I, I can only speak for myself. I'm always going to be harder than, than anybody uh, out there. Is, is, I'm always going to be harder on myself than anyone out there is going to be on me. So, uh, I mean, it is what it is. You got to keep on, keep on chopping and, you know, just, meet, just you know, push for your, your personal goals. Did you do teamwork today? Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no team drove by, you know, did, you know, individual, um, ran some routes and, and I did some of the, you know, group stuff, uh, just not the live team reps, but uh, that's something I'm hoping to, to do tomorrow. When you, Matt talked about it's his job to do what's best for the team as the head coach. Mm -hmm. um, as receivers, we've heard Vrabel and all you guys talk about you got to be unselfish, especially when you have four guys of your caliber in that room. How easy is it to put aside individual goals for team goals, especially when you and Rome are coming up on, on contract situations? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's easy at, at all, uh, to be honest. Um, and I mean, everyone has, you know, different, you know, everyone's a different person. Everyone has, you know, their own views on everything. Um, I mean, how I look at it is, you know, if I just keep on doing what I do and keep on striving to be the player that I'm going to be uh, at some point, you know, whether it's, you know, tomorrow or, you know, five years from now, I'm going to, you know, get what I deserve uh, in one way or another, whether it's, you know, $1 million or, you know, $50 million, it, uh, it is what it is. So, I mean, I think everyone just has their own views on it. But, I mean, it's definitely tough because, uh, I mean, it's a business at the end of the day. Uh, you know, everyone's their own corporation. Everyone's trying to, you know, provide for their families and, and whatnot. It's tough to you know, just go by when, you know, it seems like it's never going your way. But I mean, I don't really think that's been the case, uh, you know, here for a lot of us. I think we've gotten uh, opportunities. All of us would love to get more. But, um, you know, I think that uh, the team goal will come first and, you you know, gripe about the individual goals, you know, later. Going forward, how do you how do you make this work? Because what you just said, this is a business. Obviously, I think people sometimes on the outside can lose track of that. Mm -hmm. I'll look at all these young, talented wide receivers. There's only one ball, right? Mm -hmm. How do you go forward in terms of camaraderie after last week? Um, I mean, you just you just move on. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's that's pretty you know simple thing to say and doesn't really you know sound like much, but. I mean, we've got a you know a new game plan this week, uh, you know a new goal this week to, to win this football game. So, uh, I mean, there'll probably be you know a few bumps in the road. Just you know, I'm trying to get that you know togetherness and, and that family feeling back. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know he's back in the building, um, and I know that you know his goal is you know also to win you know a football game this week. Uh, so I mean, we all have the the same you know team uh, team goal. So I think that we're all pushing for that. It'll bring us back together. Did today feel a little bit awkward? You kind of mentioned it might be take a little time, but today did it feel like? That? Um, I mean, I, honestly, it, it didn't feel that bad today. Uh, you know, obviously, I wasn't you know taking part in a lot of the team reps and everything, but you know, from 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 what I saw, it looked like it uh, went pretty well. And um, you know, I think you know just from the little conversation I had with Rome this morning, I feel like you know he understands you know where he's at, um, and you know, obviously the ramifications of it, and he's gonna you know just do everything he can to just. Uh, you know, earn his role back in, in, in this team and just, you know, get right back to where we were. I don't know if you're open to sharing what you told him, but why was it important for you to have that conversation with him this morning? Um, I mean, I just, I just, uh, you know, just wanted to talk to him. You know, I hadn't ta really talked to him much at all uh, throughout the process, uh, you know, what he was going through. So, I mean, just honestly, just, you know, saying what's up and uh, just letting him know that, you know, I'm here is, it was, it was enough and, uh, you know, whether, uh, you know, he feels you know like that's you know true in that moment or not. I just wanted to make sure I got that off my chest and just you know was able to you know just say what's up to him and let him know we're here for him. Uh, but I mean, I, I know that you know there's some things that he's not going to want to hear in the, in the moment, but uh, going to say it anyways because you know we're a family regardless. Back to you when you were riding the cart off, did you think it was over? Did you in your mind or you like I, this might be season ending? Um, I mean, it, it it did come into my head. I mean, I think the the only re really thing I was thinking was. Uh, you know, even one <laughs> missing one more game is, is you know, tough for me. Uh, I just don't want to miss any games at this point in my career. Uh, so, I mean, that was really just the main thing. I don't want to miss next week. Uh, and obviously uh, not knowing what it, what it could be. I was, you know, definitely thinking of, of what could be uh, the outcome. But, um, I mean, I was really just kind of tunnel vision on the fact that I just don't want to miss a game. You've put in so much work in the offseason to stay healthy. You've gotten to this point, right? Staying healthy. How frustrating. This, this is a situation, it's a play that you can't avoid, right? It's part of football. It's not a 
lack of preparation today? How frustrating is it? I mean, it's it's super frustrating. Um, but then you know, I try to I try to look at the positives of everything, and you know, I think. Uh, you know, maybe the, you know all of the training that I put in to get my body right for the season is the reason I came out of it with, uh, you know, not as bad of an injury, not as significant as of an injury. So I mean, that's really just how I'm looking at it. If, if I'm able to go out and uh, you know play this week and you know only miss one game, I feel like that's a positive from from the whole situation for sure. So uh, I just I just try to look at it for, from a positive you know perspective. Jordan said last week that he was kind of hard on himself for throwing the ball to put you in that position. I know things happen so quick on the field, but. Did you know before the ball was coming as you're tracking the ball? Okay, this this could be bad. Like, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I definitely yeah. felt the hit. I mean, I was I was kind of trying to you know shield him off. I was kind of trying to you know let it get into my body and maybe shield him with my uh, left side. But obviously, you know, he kind of dove past, so it was uh, you know a tough situation. But I mean, that's just football. Uh, you know, I, there's a lot, a lot of things that I've done and and you know put you know Jordan in a bad situation. You know, whether that's you know an interception or or doing something, you know, things that I could have done better. So I'm, I'm never going to, you know, blame anybody or anything. But, you know, I'm glad that, um, you know, he came, you know, came to me and just, you know, said sorry for, you know, putting me in that situation. But, I mean, that's just, that's just football. How bad do uh, you think Bo Melton wants this one against Max over there? You guys uh, putting up some numbers. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think he wants it bad. I mean, I, we, you know, talked about it today, just, uh, you know, the matchup on special teams and, uh, you know, and on offense. He's looking forward to, uh, to it for sure. How do you assess where this offense is? You've had so many ups and downs with, with injuries, with yours, with Jordan's, with a lot of big long road trips to start the year. Yet you're sitting here three and two. How do you assess things on your side of the ball as you work your way into the season? Um, I mean, honestly, I think that we've, uh, you know, we've seen what we're, we're capable of doing, uh, and I think that everything that's gone. You know, I don't want to say everything, but I think a lot of the things that have gone wrong for us have been self-inflicted wounds. Uh, so I think that we're exactly, you know, where we want to be. Uh, you know, obviously there's, you know, plays that we wish we could have back and stuff like that. But we just, you know, we're just looking forward and we know that we have the team to accomplish the goals that we want to accomplish. We just got to, uh, you know, stop shooting ourselves in the foot and uh, we can beat anybody if we, if we do that. How do you feel about the state of your division right now? Everyone's above 500. Sometimes the NFC West has been looked at as all oh, that they're loaded. You guys have the best division, it looks like, so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, for me, I, I, I love this sport so much because uh, I like to compete. Um, and, I mean, having more competition and high, having a higher level of competition is, and it only makes it more fun for me. Uh, and I'm sure that's how a lot of guys in here feel. I mean, we're competitors at heart. Uh, so, so, I mean, just, I mean the, in our minds, just, you know, bring it.